a pedophile? Are you a pedophile? Are you a pedophile? Are you a pedophile? During the first day of hearings in the House Select Committee regarding the Capitol riots, lawmakers, GOP lawmakers like Representative Matt Gates, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Paul Gosar, Elise Stefanik held a press conference in order to deflect from the wrongdoings of the Republican Party and of course the provocations coming from Donald Trump, the same provocations that led to the violence that took place on January 6th. And the best part that came out of that press conference was what Lauren Windsor did. So we're gonna show you the clip. Try to listen in and hear what someone is shouting at Matt Gates as they're trying to hold this press conference. Oh, the people of this country, go. the answers to the questions. We, we, need, we need a break. We need, they, okay. they, the left is interrupting the press conference. We need to end it. Thank you. For those of you that really care about this process, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, what you just saw here today is again the intolerant left. The media, you saw what happened here. The left shut us down. They hate free speech. They hate free speech. The left is shutting us down. I love that one <laughs> staffer who said that. Okay, so uh, the question, are you a pedophile, is actually a legitimate question, Jake. No, I, I, Lauren Windsor for the win. Yes. Uh, because uh, why, why isn't everybody asking that question? There is uh, legitimate allegations and a co-conspirator has already made a deal with the, uh, with the prosecutors that they had sex with an underage girl and crossed state lines. So those are some of the allegations. So asking if he's a pedophile is what basically I guess every reporter should be doing. It's it's a little curious that they've yeah. actually shied away from asking that question. It's almost as if they're a little afraid of losing access to a Republican lawmaker who is literally, as we speak, facing a DOJ investigation into potential sex trafficking of a minor. So why don't they ask that question? So I actually, look, while the optics of that were fun, I'm not gonna lie. The fact of the matter is that was a legitimate question and it's definitely infuriating that it takes you know, someone like Lauren Windsor to do what well paid journalists won't do. Yeah, Lauren does a show called The Undercurrent. You should definitely check it out. She actually started that back when we were together at Current. and. And super proud of her, she asked some of the best questions. She winds up putting herself in a position to be able to ask questions of Republicans as they're coming in and out of airports. She's enterprising, has broken some of the bigger stories this year, and great independent reporter, right? And so, and understand something, she's not trolling. Trolling would be, hey, since you're a pedophile, are you part of Pizzagate? Okay, that would be trolling because, hey, did QAnon warn us about you? Because it appears that you're a pedophile for doing underage sex trafficking. That's what QAnon was worried about. Are you the enemy of QAnon? That would be trolling, right? Are you a pedophile is an actual question prosecutors might ask Matt Gates soon. Mm -hmm. Why isn't every reporter asking that question? Now look, they're not in the, the reporters have a sense that Matt Gates is gonna lose power. So they're sucking up to him a little less than they used to. I think it's oh, more- Oh, they're sucking up to him a little less. <laughs> oh, they're brave. Yeah. But there is a culture of, well, you can't ask that of a polit of a of a congressman. The congressmen are elites. I mean, that would be rude. That would right. he would feel embarrassed if you asked was, him that question. That's funny. Was Elliot Spitzer treated that way? No. What's funny is that if you're a progressive taking on Wall Street, then anybody can ask any question they like and rip you apart. And yes. Elliot Spitzer just he paid for an escort, right? That's yeah. what Elliot Spitzer yeah. did. Yep, mm -hmm. that's it. Did he face a DOJ investigation into potential sex trafficking of a minor? No, not at all, he not didn't. remotely. Mm -hmm. Nope. That's weird that so, they, you know, asked him such tough questions back then. But yeah. with Matt Gates, they stay away from that question. So he Spitzer had to step down 
Gates, on, it appears based on the allegations of, of one of his best friends, uh, that he has said to prosecutors on the record, they, he, Matt Gates repeatedly used escorts. So if you were just using the low bar of the Spitzer standard, he should already be gone, gone, gone. Republicans said Spitzer was a monster, monster. I can't believe he's regulating our robber baron friends on Wall Street. I mean, a slept with an escort, right? <laughs> now when Gates does it, and now with underage girls, they're like, what? Well, I don't say, who cares? Who cares? What's the big deal about escorts? What's the who? And, and they're underage? Ah, you just do a little child sex trafficking. What's the big deal? By the way, Democrats do it. No, no, no. Apparently, Matt Gates did it. Unless if he didn't, yeah. yeah. If he didn't, I said apparently. If he didn't do it, he should answer Lauren Windsor's question. She's not making a statement. She's asking a question. So, of course, uh, he's not going to, and he's going to run away. And he's like, oh my God, it's not a legitimate reporter. A legitimate reporter wouldn't ask me a real question. Uh, also, let's all, let's note and give credit to the sign in the background that said "Rapist, sit down." Mm -hmm. So uh, they came prepared. They came prepared, and I have to say, I have noticed that um, the righteous indignation or the anger it, it doesn't tend to play well in terms of like strategically tearing down bad actors in Congress, whether they be Democrats or Republicans. But doing so in a, a mocking way or a trolling way seems to work, right? Because mm -hmm. they don't know how to respond to it. How do you respond to that? So I loved it. I thought it was a great strategy by Lauren Windsor um, and you love to see it. And last thing is to answer your question, Anna. I mean, it seems hilarious. Oh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, who by the way, bullied and accosted people all over Washington DC. Now she's the victim. They're right? shutting us down. <laughs> the left is shutting them down. They're shutting them down. So why are they doing that when they look ridiculous? And it's because they can't wait to be the victim. Mm -hmm. Right, bully, 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 do all these terrible things. And the minute someone pushes back 1%, oh, I'm the victim. The left is shutting us down. Okay, gotcha. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, so really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.